How'd your picture turn out? <gasps> Cutie! Oh, I love it. This is so fun. Secret, how's yours turn out? <gasps> beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> we hiked a thousand miles. And Aqua Blaze some. <laughs> What up, dudes? <laughs> oh, we're missing the present. I was a public plan around the trail. You can stand in the first camping that's allowed. From here north, there's a lot of places where you just have a thousand foot wide corridor and you're close to major metropolitan areas. So you can't care for anything. I mean, it's a little dated reference, but we all know it's just like Spider Man. Thank you. With great power comes great responsibility. Perfect. Do you need a hand cake? I'll take one. Yeah. <laughs> if you have one of those. Yes. What do you need? Oh, they take your picture in front mm -hmm. and then he prints it for you. Yeah. Amazingly well. And like she even made like these stickers and stuff all over these place. Like what's in there? Uh I have no idea. Oh, it's a surprise? Yes. Yeah, I, I never know what comes in these boxes. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. So let's get snacks. I've got little bites. These ones are usually from the fam. This one is What is that? Um, a sandwich? Uh, from Tori. <laughs> it's like a baby shower. So, so like whenever uh, there's a bunch of snacks from uh, individuals, she packages them all separately. So that Aww. way I can know which snacks are coming from who. Oh, you should act like it's a baby shower and get yeah, so excited. Like show yeah. No, I us. love these things. Oh so, my gosh. Like, I... <laughs> mango. I love chili mango. This, uh, I, I work with this guy. Ooh. And, uh, some... What was that? Dinosaur amber? No, it's, uh, it's like a sweet <laughs> uh, Mexican candy. Oh, I don't even know what these are. Cheese tart? What'd you get? A bunch of Canadian snacks. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. They're like, oh, they're my notes. Oh, you get some which I didn't try until I got yeah. here. One of my friends are our version of Smarties. They're like M&M's. Oh my gosh. And, uh, oh my gosh. Like, it's, like, it's like I'm a kid going some to school. Some cotton like, specifically for Gushers. That's amazing. <laughs> Yep. Are you so happy right now? Coffee. Yeah, but it's a lot too many. Nutty butter. Hand them out. So. You have to carry all of this in your yeah, bag. I'm definitely not carrying all of this. Don't share with anybody. Oh, Just I'll carry everything. Cannot eat this. Are you gonna share this? No. That cherry is mine. No, it's mine. It's mine. You can have it. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Look at my hair. So I'm here at the Motel 6 in Charlestown, which is very close to Harper's Ferry. We hit the halfway point yesterday, which was so exciting after aqua blazing. So we did skip part of the hiking, but it is amazing here and just getting everything kind of cleaned out and clothes washed after being on the river for 11 days. Um, and it's fun. There's a big group here. We caught up with some people we haven't seen in a while and just having a really great time. The um, canoeing adventure was amazing. I think I said kayaking, but canoeing, it was awesome. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot of video, but sorry, it's kind of loud here. I didn't get a ton of video from the canoeing adventure, um, just mainly because my phone was like in a dry bag mainly the whole time, but it was so cool. The last day we got caught in storms and I felt like we were on castaway. Um, <laughs> It was just, it was absolutely nuts, but it's been a great 
adventure and lots of friends are here so it's it's a great time what you doing? you're not supposed to hold it Don't. oh gosh this is gonna go bad <laughs> Woo. <laughs> You're like Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, there will be more. No, there you don't be. know yet. Just, just, don't point yeah. it towards me. Just keep it pointed out in case it is. <laughs> You're right, Parka. I should have taken a picture <laughs> of him doing that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> You got this, I think. Did you pull the wick out? <laughs> Do not ever, yeah, just don't point at your face. <laughs> it's not going to ever fly. It's like, what? It's going to Oh, it's just a few feet. I accidentally had a bottle rocket once, and I didn't realize it wasn't a sparkler, and it went off like <laughs> my sweater was burned and everything. God bless America. Uh oh. Yesterday was Canada Day. Yay! Yeah, way to copy us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's your name, Annie? It's Jen. Alright, I'll be right back. We've been eating at this delicious bagel place. Um, today and yesterday and they have the most amazing breakfast bagels and I got this lavender latte that's so good. It's been fun to eat here at this local place. And after that dam it kind of like it was like it was gross for me. Yeah. But once the water started moving again it started to get cooler because there was more uh, rivers entering it. Yeah. I guess what? Alright, cool. Just pretend to be Go for it. I Are you trying to get one? Hiker, it's a relative term. <laughs> so today is a big day because i'm getting back on trail after 17 days off it's probably been hard to follow the videos that i've taken because i haven't really been vlogging very great but today's a big day i'm really nervous I took like those four days off when i had the kind of health stuff and then we ended up aqua blazing for 11 days and then we took some zeros after that it's been a really great break but Gotta get back on trail. I gotta get to Maine somehow, some way. So I've been staying at this really cool hostel with a lot of good friends. And last night was July 4th. Today's the 5th. I've been off trail since June 17th. Um, so anyway, getting back on. And I really like this place. I'll show you some video of what it looks like inside. There's Peach's van. 
and some other great trail angels are here. Odie's here. Hiker yearbook bus. Good morning. I should try showering though. That's oh, yeah. I did that last night. Yeah. Once in a week. Really. You filming? Yeah. <laughs> what? Stretch, you doing work for stay? Huh? You doing work for stay? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bed. It's a disaster right now. Look at this really pretty mural. And then the bathrooms here are awesome. The showers, shampoo. Well, there ain't no use to sit in one while, babe. Doesn't matter anyhow. Well, the rooster crows at the break of dawn. You look out your window and I'm gone. Well, you're the reason I've been. I've been on the I'm almost done. So I started hiking and hiking alone because. Everyone I'm hiking with is in a vortex and I didn't really want to leave. So, I'm hiking by myself and I'm not gonna lie, like I have cried today and um, I don't know, this is hard, you know, and it's not easy. I can't really put it into words what I'm feeling, but I just good to be back and also just like, really scary <laughs> but we need to the white place so we're officially back on trail and I've got like a few friends like one friend who's up ahead and then one friend who's packing up and gonna be behind me so I'm not alone but I'm struggling This stretch of trail takes us from north of Harper's Ferry, across the Mason-Dixon line, and up 45 miles to the Deer Lick shelters. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we just started trail flight club. Got a lot in. So I'm setting up my stuff right here, and I look up, and this is a really, really big Black Widow. Like, huge Black Widow. So the ridge runner is going to come up and kill it or move it. Her fearless friend, Pisa, who is also a ridge runner, she, oh, yep, yep. Now we're safe tonight. Oh, she was trying to save him and relocate him and he didn't want to cooperate. It was a no-go. Thank you, Pizza. <laughs>
So it is 7 a.m. and I'm hiking and it's already hot. There's a heat advisory for today. So um, I'm trying to get some miles in before it gets into the 90s. Um, there's like bugs out already. This is so frustrating. I was like, oh, wake up early. There won't be any bugs out. Nope, they're really thick. Mosquitoes were attacking me last night in the shelter. And it's just nuts. It feels weird to be back on trail. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. When I saw that first white blaze, I cried a little bit. It wasn't happy tears. It was some happy tears. But anyway, um, I don't feel like my body's like up to par. I was getting out of breath yesterday. So I'm just going to take it slow and don't want to overdo it, especially on a day like today that's going to be so hot. But I'm in Maryland now. It's amazing. Here we go. You can what? <laughs> I'm just gonna order it from right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Squatch, what's my new trail name? Stop being a weirdo. What? It's weirdo. Who, <laughs> you? The be weirdo. <laughs> so Poe and I just made a symbolic Marilyn little marker because we didn't have one when we walked through and he's from Maryland so it's very important that we commemorate this moment. Now there is one. Yeah. So it's the next day. It's like 6 a.m. and yesterday was so hot. I only hiked like, I don't know, 11 or 12 miles. So today we're getting started early, try to get a lot of miles in before the heat hits and hope we don't die. So we're here at the original Washington Monument. It's pretty cool, I've heard about this place for a while. So it's exciting to see it in person. I want to take a moment to share with you a brand that I love and a product that helped me so much on the AT. Ned is a hemp wellness collective and I love everything they make, but my favorite is the Daily Blend. I used it on the AT, well that is until a mouse chewed through the dropper in a shelter. I love that Ned is organic certified and they work directly with a farmer in Paonia, Colorado. The hemp oil is even safe for your pup. To check that out, follow the link in the description of this video. They've even given me a code to share with you guys for 15% off. Just use my name, Kara, at checkout. So less than 15 to the Mason Dixon. So that's Pennsylvania there, according to this sign. We're so close. Okay. okay.
taking a picture? A little video. <laughs> oh no, I mean like, did somebody die by... So I thought Pennsylvania was the rocky one, but nope. This is the trail in Maryland. So life is weird. Um, I'm sitting here in this Italian restaurant or, oh, it's a pizza. I uh, got to the roadhead and decided Hey, we'll try to hitch and see if we could get a ride in. Give it like 10 minutes. If not, we're going to go to the shelter. And it was literally the second car that passed. Or maybe third. But it was literally within seconds of putting my thumb up. So we're here trying to cool off. It was in the 90s today. So hot. I literally felt like I was going to pass out. Yesterday was a heat advisory. So... It was actually a good idea to kind of get off trail for a bit and I'll tell you what Maryland is so rocky um I took some pictures I think I took a video to show you but Maryland is like ridiculously rocky I kept hearing about Pennsylvania being rocky but no this place is and it's pretty flat but just it's been hot and like bugs are flying in our face so anyway That was delicious. I got gnocchi. We got dessert first, salad, breadsticks, or garlic bread, I mean. Lots of water and Dr. Pepper. And now, I don't know where we're going. I think there's like soft serve ice cream and a grocery store and possibly heading back to the trail. Who knows what life's going to throw tonight but all I can say is it's hot outside and <laughs> I'm glad to not be in the woods right now even if it's just for a few minutes I'm gonna check out this Appalachian Station trading post apparently has art inside and a really cute sign Well, that was amazing. Athens. So that was pretty cool. We were walking in the gas station parking lot and this man just said, hey, are y'all through hiking? And we said, yes. And he said, how long are y'all gonna be? So we said, we need to ride back to the trailhead. And he was, we were like five minutes. He said, okay, I'll give you one, which is very fortunate because the guy who gave us a ride here, I was a little bit sketched out by. He was saying some weird stuff. So this guy's, he's in, a man who's a former through hiker he went sobo a few years ago um so that's super cool he's gonna give us a ride back to the trail after we get some hydration here oh yeah the mecca well it's the next day and i've been sitting in the shelter since last night right there <laughs> Get caught in the shelter oh, vortex and it feels really nice. And we heard that there's chill magic like point two back. So we're going to head back that way. Kind of taking a, I don't know if this is zero, we'll figure out what happens, but it feels a lot better outside right now. The rain hits. So we decided to walk up and catch our friends who, one of our friends' dads is doing trail magic apparently at two, but it's 2.30. And we literally <laughs> left the shelter and it started pouring down rain. So I don't know, maybe it was a bad decision, but we're here waiting for our friends and it'll be really good to see them. <laughs> Oh, there's no small screen? 
ended up zeroing at that shelter yesterday, which is crazy. It was the first time that I had zeroed like in the woods. <laughs> um, but it was really nice and cool in the morning and um, we ended up getting trail magic and our friends caught up. So just stayed there. So I'm starting hiking. It's like 6.30. I'm gonna try to get some miles in today. There's a Hurricane Elsa that's hitting. And so it's just wreaking havoc on <laughs> everybody. I'm sure that you've heard about it, but um, so we are, I'm trying to hike before the rain hits today. The rain hit yesterday, it was pretty intense. Um, so there's that, but Maryland has been rocky. It's been kind of a hard state because of the heat, the unbearable heat and trying to stay hydrated. So, um, it's best just to wake up early, get some miles in, and then take a siesta in the hottest part of the day. Or the rainiest part in this case. Also, there's like a church group that hung like all of these bear bags on this bear pole last night. And they're carrying a lot of food and put all of their bear hangs on one side. But hey, they got them up there, so kudos to them. Just stopped in and had breakfast at the shelter and <clears throat> met some really, really nice people who were singing Hamilton, which made me happy. Um, trying to get into Waynesboro today. I'm hiking slower than normal, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Trying to get my trail legs back. And it feels so good that it's not crazy hot today. So we are at High Rock Overlook. And it's a parking lot here. Trust a random stranger? Do you like? No, like, like, leave them around. Oh, sorry. Like, uh, like, around the. Oh, just turn around. This is the trail that has been. So literally a rock field with white blazes here and there. Oh my gosh. A lot of this experience for that experience. He's so cute. Check it out. Getting close to the halfway point. It's amazing. Oh my God, look. It could, you said, you could almost this. I mean, didn't you say that? <gasps> look how I made it to. Oh. Guess what? Okay, we're at the Mason Dixon line, and right now I'm in Maryland, and right now, I'm in Pennsylvania. <gasps> we made it! Welcome to Pennsylvania. That's so cool. I wish it was still open. Ice cream, hot and cold sandwiches. Popcorn stand. Thanks so 
much, Samurai Blue. You're very welcome. You're amazing. Enjoy the hike, safe travels. Thank you. the journey. Thank you. And it is life changing. Thanks so much. Arizona sun.